is follow this video that I'm going to post above me. Right, hello YouTube people. Right, I'm now in front of my computer. And like I said a minute ago, um, your YouTube live stream video takes a while to be processed by YouTube. What you're going to end up with is a load of these. Yeah, a load of copyright strikes. Of course you are. Um, it's not the end of the world. You need to go through it. I've got a video up there of how I check my streams the day after I've done them. And it basically talks you through going through and checking. Uh, as long as you don't want to make any money out of your video, you can't monetize it. Anyway, let's get on the computer and we'll, uh, I'll talk through what else I do. There we go. So this is the edit page. This was my live from the loft last night. Um, you've obviously got the title. This is where you can change that if you want. Go into your description. You can change that. Um, you can have a thumbnail, which can either be uh, the one used on the initial stream, which I've got there, or you can use a snapshot if there's any good ones. I'm going to stick to that. This is the partially blocked bit over here. Um, like I say, follow my video. Um, it'll explain how uh, how I get around that, or at least how I check it. Um, then you can put end screen and cards. You can put your tags in. Now, I'm not too sure about tags. I'm not too sure how to use them properly. So that's something I'm still learning. So I probably would improve my, um, my view count if I could get my tags right. Then what I do is I go to the video um, and I will just, what I'll do is I'll skip through it. I'll cut off if I've got the countdown clock at the beginning, which I use for the live stream, I immediately cut that off. Don't have a countdown clock at the beginning. So you want to get straight into it, and I try and play some good tracks at the beginning and get immediately on the mic. Bit of engagement. Yeah, I'm hoping that's going to sort of at least make people watch it for a little bit. Um, and yeah, and I go through it and I'm looking for transitions, song transitions, seeing whether they work, see whether I messed them up. So it's all that kind of stuff. So that's what I look through. And that's it. And then what I do is I look at my interaction with people on the stream, just make sure the levels are good. I did have a thought about my stream, which I'm going to let him tell you about. Hello. I just had a thought. I do a lot of my thinking when I'm driving about. Um, my stream last night, Saturday, had half the amount of people watching it than I've had my previous weeks. And um, it was the first Saturday I've done a stream since the pubs have opened for outdoor drinking. Um, and because my time is seven till nine, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should change it. People, if it's a nice day, which it was yesterday, um, people are still gonna be sort of out and enjoying themselves. I might change my stream to maybe start at nine o'clock to nine till eleven i don't know what do you think just a thought yeah so it's what should i do should i change it to a later time maybe a different day so I definitely had less people or should i just carry on doing saturdays seven till nine I'll carry on for a little bit. Anyway, that's it for today. This is day one of the DJ Diary. Uh, they're going on all week, and by the end of it, you'll have a really good idea of what I'm going to do on the Saturday and how I've got to that point. Okay, tomorrow is all about choosing the music for next week and looking at the graphics. Okay, so take it easy, stay safe, look after yourself. I'll see you on the next video.